Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing of this. What is this? Well, I decided to purchase another laser cutter, CO2 laser cutter. So, uh, as I've been doing some homework, there seems to be several different um, make and models, if you will, uh, of these. They all kind of look the same. M my original one, when I purchased it, it was listed as a 40 watt unit. And I think after measuring the tube and getting it, it's more like a 30 or 35. So I thought about upgrading the tube to a true 40 watt tube, but by the time I looked at the cost, I could buy another one. So basically, this is what I've done. So this one uh, is supposed to be a 40 watt unit. Uh, you know, and they lie and they overdrive them, so yeah, even the 40 is kind of subjective. But I think this has got a, a far bigger tube in it. And uh, so. I already tried one take of this, so this is why I've cut it open and found out the camera was, wasn't recording. So, uh, fortunately, I caught that before I got too far into this uh, outside of cutting the tape. So, it is boxed, box in a box. And uh, so, it's got, you know, seems to be somewhat well packed. It came Federal Express ground, uh, which is about typical. And I'm not sure if you can see in here, but I've got my typical package of, of stuff. Um, we'll take a deeper look at that. But, uh, you know, it's in here pretty good, so one of the things I'm going to do is go off camera and try to get this out of the box, uh, out of the box, inside the box. So this is going to take a little bit. It is kind of heavy. It's about 80 pounds. So it's going to take a little bit of work to get it out by myself, but uh, I'll be back in a flash. Okay, so here we are back again. And uh, knock on wood, the tube seems to have made it in one piece. Notice it's uh, it's taped. It's a little bit dark because of the down lighting of the shop lights. But uh, hopefully you can see that this also has different mounts than my other one had. These are actually nicer mounts. Also, the other thing is, notice um, it has a nice ground, which is very important if you watch my other videos. And then it has two plugs. It has two plugs. Um, so you can, I, I believe, so you can plug in, for example, like the uh, water pump and the fume extraction system. So that's kind of cool. Uh, the tube, laser tube, is about 27 inches. And to give you an idea, my other one is only about 22 inches. So my other one is only about that long. So, uh, so I got about five more inches of tube. So I think this is really going to do uh, a better job. Um, and notice the fume extraction hole, obviously this. So I tell you what, let's turn it around and then let's take a deeper look in the front. So biggest thing is I wanted to look at the tube. I wanted to measure it and make sure um, everything was good. Now I haven't filled this with water, but uh, looking at everything, it looks okay. Now it does look a little bit different in design than my other tube. So. Uh, it's got a little bit of foam in here for packing, uh, but not much. So I'm, I'm surprised, but it seems to have held. So let's flip it around and take a look. Now inside here I got the obligatory stuff. I've got another fan, which I really don't need. And let's take that out. I've got another busted up tube for some reason. Now one of the things I've seen here that I don't like already is the motor wires are on my other one, they're nicely tied off. This one isn't. Um, but we can deal with that. It's kind of taped. I'm um, assuming this is the water pump. Whoops, sorry. Shook you all up there. Yes, this is the infamous Chinese water pump and the nozzle parts in there. Now, this is kind of interesting. This has a bigger vice type bed and the hole inside of this I want to make sure I'm going to move you guys up a little closer so you can see this and angle this down this is substantially nicer than um, my other one this is a nice bed now for some reason this isn't bolted in here and it's only has these ties so I'm really not sure what's up with that but this is let me see if I can I don't know where I have my other one. The other one was a lot smaller, so this is actually pretty interesting that this is so big. Um, but the other thing is, 
this um, outside of the motor wiring seems to be um, better built than my other one which has far more money uh, the other one was almost five hundred dollars with the digital readout this one doesn't have it but I don't know why there aren't screws in this to hold this up um, but uh, this is actually very interesting you see the fume extractor comes out here um, but I think this is this they claim to have an 8x10 bed and that's about what this is I was just looking what did I do with my ruler let's measure this up for you guys so I would say that's about 9 so I don't think I'm going to get 8 by 10 it's kind of hard to work around the camera but um, I'd say this is about 6, six this opening is about 6 by 9 and by the time you take this probably will do about 7 by 8 uh, if you leave this clamp in here now I am working up some ideas for a new type of bed mount um, I'm going to experiment with and I'm going to experiment with a different air assist here but I'm going to move you guys down so let's look at the electronic section now my other one has a digital readout which I added a meter and you can look back in the playlist now all this actually looks pretty nice the test switch on off laser switch all this looks pretty good and Yes, they put the infamous safety screw in here. I have to remove to open up the top secret compartment as I did with the back. But I got to tell you already, I'm liking this one better than my other one. And I just can't believe the quality inside the, the bed over there. Uh, this is giving me a hard time. I think I'm wondering if the Chinese put a nut on the other end of this. Nope, I don't think so. It fell out. There we go. So we can open it up. Now, the thing I love about this is look at all the space in here. You know, you might remember my other one that I did. And it was just crammed, and I'd reach my hand up in there. And um, trying to figure out, I think, oh, Oh, all the electronic boards are back in there. I don't know if I can actually get you off to go see that. Let me see. I, gotta, I, I might push something here. But you can see the electronics board. Now, this thing stinks. It smells like dirty armpit, but um, I don't know what it is, some kind of oil. But that's what the electronics board looks like, so it's pretty nondescript. So for comparison one of the things I wanted to show here's the the uh, original unit I have and again kind of notice the size and then I'll pan you over. Now take a look at the size of the the new um, unit I got. It, it's substantially larger as I pointed out in the other one. Uh, also let's um, move up here and take a look at what we have in this package. I'm going to pan you down a little bit so uh, this package has come with it interesting sealed package it's kind of a ziploc thing opening it up so I'm not quite sure what the tape is for we have a USB cable uh, Ryan Motor Tech DVD uh, I don't know, whatever is in here, Fuji something or another, oh, one pack silicone adhesive sealant, I wonder what the heck that's for, that kind of scares me, um, so we got that, we got a power cord, we got the infamous USB dongle, now this is smaller than my other one, we got some sort of instruction manual. Oh, that's the binding for the instruction manual. Probably printed on many good copiers, so this is kind of interesting. This is this is a little bit more than I got with the other one. So you can kind of see some of the stuff through here. I'm just kind of wondering why they gave me the silicon silicone sealant. So uh anyways, optical path adjustment, etc. So that's about what that looks like. That's what you get with that.
I'm going to figure out what that's for. I'll let you guys know. But uh, let's just come back over here to the this laser for a minute. So one of the things I have to do is take the paper off here yet and everything. But, um, you know, all in all, let me back you up a little bit so you kind of get a bigger perspective. It's kind of hard to back up far enough. Um, so anyways, get a bigger perspective here, what it looks like. So again, very happy with this unit. Got to put some screws in there. Uh, one of the things, if anybody knows where I can get um, a larger clamp like this one, what I want to do, what I'm thinking about doing anyway, is taking this on the CNC and cutting out a larger opening. Because I like that clamping idea, um, but it's a, it takes up a little bit too much room and it, uh, you know, a little bit small. You notice I got a piece of, of hobby wood in there right now, and it takes up most of it. Actually, let's just take a little bit closer look at that. So, again, I still have to put screws uh, in it. To hold it up, but you see the piece of hobby wood, so uh, you know look, this, the distance this takes up is, is a lot. So I was hoping to maybe have this, and actually, what I might do is take this on the CNC machine and cut this down and remake this um, bracket so it is a lot smaller because the opening is not too bad. But if you guys uh, know where I can get a clamp or clamping mechanism like this, let me know in the comments below. I'd appreciate it. Um, and I've already got redesigned an air assist to go on here. I'm going to do my own air assist this time instead of using the light objects like in the past. Uh, one of the things just I just noticed, I'm going to have to take a look at the mirror. I'm not sure the mirror seated well, but one of the things you should, that I will do in readying this is readying this is clean clean all the mirrors, uh, make sure they're all seated properly. Uh, like this mirror, I don't think is seated properly. I'll go through, check the lens, make sure it's clean, make sure it's in there correctly. Uh, and, and make sure all this is in place. Um, just checking to see, oh, that's just a reflection on the bar. I thought the bar was scraped, but it's just a reflection. So anyways, um, hopefully you found this bo unboxing interesting. I'm going to be doing a lot more. This one I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hopefully leave stock at least for a while because I've had a lot of questions on the stock operation. And then also what I've done is uh, I've gotten another uh, laptop. And I'm going to try using that uh, with OBS Studio so you can actually see what's happening in the software as well as I'm going to run a webcam so you can see the laser and what's happening on the screen inside of Laser Draw. So, anyways, I think that'll be a little bit interesting bringing those two together. So, uh, hey, found this interesting? Give a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. A lot more of this stuff coming. So, see you in the next video. Just click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.